I'm back! And I think I'll try to edit in an intro. Nah. Maybe not. I, I, don't, I don't know yet if YouTube has a, uh, well, an intro maker or something. But let's talk about something very, very, very weird. Listen. We all know who Sonic is, right? We all know who Mario is. We all know who all those game characters are. But what comes bad about some things? Fan bases. The fa about the fan bases, I mean... Yeah. You know where this is going. We're going to talk about some of the fan games that I kind of found online. I actually found in YouTube videos. I'll try to put links in the description. Mm, nah, I'll just put, I'll just go, just um, search up on YouTube the names of these. Or just search up on YouTube. Shoot. Oh, there goes my toothbrush. Soap fell on my toothbrush. Eh, we're getting off topic anyway. So, you might want to defend yourself with something about this huge, which is the, like, larger than my head. Something about long, larger than your head. Or the same size as your arm. That's how long it is. So, you might want to protect yourself by with some of these, just by getting one of these. At Walmart. We're still getting off topic. Alright. We're going to talk about some fan games that I've seen in YouTube videos, and some that I've actually played. Let's start off with, well, we're not going to start off. This video is about Sonic.exe, and Mario.exe, and whatever .exe fan game. So, we're going to start off with the original Sonic.exe. If you guys don't know what that is, just search up on, the, on YouTube, Sonic.exe playthrough, let's play, or whatever, and then you'll see the true spoopiness. Yeah, it sucks. One thing just shows a spooky image after another. Typical .exe game. Just show a spooky, photoshopped image in front of another one. S stupid sprite things. Spread it. It's not that scary. Unless if you think about something deep where you have to lose your mind for the entertainment of people. I don't. Because I'm freaking 10. And freaking 10 year olds don't have to lose their mind for the entertainment of people. And apparently. <laughs> my, I hope that somebody saw my response to the Santa Claus Sonic fan. Nobody's watching my newer videos. Just my older ones. But who cares? Let's take a look at, well, some .exe games. Let's start off with, well, well, we already started off with the original Sonic.exe. So then there's this other game, actually. Yeah, then there's a few other games, like Five Nights at Sonic's or... Or, actually, come to think of it, there's tons more Flash games that are .exe's than actual games that you get from, like, somewhere about Game Jolt or Steam. I don't even know the names of them. But the ones that I mostly remember are the Five Nights at Sonic series, the original Sonic.exe, Mario and Animatronic Horror, Luigi did a playthrough of that, and a few other things, which I can't remember the names of. God dang it. There's also some other, some other, well, you know, fan games that really deserve their own video. Anyway, I'm going to start editing on PC now. So yeah, I'm going to start editing on PC. I finally signed in. But it's not. I'm not gonna make a few any of those actual good quality videos made with um, MS Movie Maker. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use MS Movie Maker. However, that's we're not about the games actually. We're all about well. Let's just say.
let's talk about well the games themselves and what they have so maybe I'll try to edit this video or re-upload some of my some of my other videos but let's just not try let's try not to get off topic so Dottie exe games are traditional Dotty exe games where a spooky where a spooky image goes up on Goes up in your face, you say, oh no, that's super scary. Listen, I only flinch when seeing something scary. Well, except when I was younger and playing Five Nights at Freddy's 1 of my dad's Blackberry, which he doesn't have anymore. First piece, Blackberry, something, 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 the 2017, you will be missed. Anyway, let's, we're still getting off topic. Why do we always get, get the off topic? Anyway. So, yes, I know how to crack my knuckles. I'm not dumb. So, let's talk about some of the thing, regular things that you would come across on a Dottie game. Spooky pictures, number one. And jump scares, which are actually pretty scary if they actually have some, you know, actual good Photoshop. Let's just not try to go too deep in this. Because thinking too deep in this and then feeling like something's right behind you and it's about to maybe just spook you. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of those .exe and scary videos like, don't hug me, I'm scared. Don't look it up. Don't look it up, moms or dads or whatever that are watching this. Only people who want to prank their, um, their siblings. Don't do it. Don't hug me, I'm scared. It's basically .exe if it was even scarier and had CGI and it was live action. And it's supposed to be, it's half the time it's actually good for kids. But at the end, there's a dark twist. I'm not even going to say what. I'm only going to say one of them. I, ha I haven't seen their videos and I don't want to. So, if I was willing to see their videos, which I am not, and you guys dare me to, I will. I will react to only one of the videos. Just kidding, I won't. I'm not willing. I'm not willing to take freaking risks for my health sakes. Literally, I can get so scared that I won't even sleep in my room for who knows how many days. And that's already struck me. We're still getting off topic. So most of the .exe games that I come across are not that scary. Sure, they make me flinch and say, ah, Sometimes, but most of the time they're just not scary at all. End of story. However, however, ooh. let's take a look. Well, at why I don't think that these games are scary. First of all, the jump scares are really low quality to show a spooky picture. So, oh, oh, let's try to make a jump scare. Goes the creator. Make a game! Let's make it spooky! Hey, it's poorly edited it made in Microsoft Paint! It's great! However, if that was a little creepy for you guys, I'm sorry. I just like to make weird fa weird faces that sometimes. That's not gonna be scary. It's if it's poorly MS Paint made, then you know things are just gonna be a terrible ripoff of something else. Yeah, I had this unplugged the entire time. Just to make it look good. Like this year. So anyway, some good things that you can play on your freaking phone, well, bad games mostly, are just Five Nights at Freddy's. That's it! <laughs> That's it, everybody! That's it. No good games. Only good horror games are sometimes a little bit of bad ripoffs that are free, demos of horror of actual good horror games, and the goosebumps thing. I always get the goosebumps when watching something like that. I get the goosebumps when watching freaking Five Nights at Freddy's Let's Let's Plays. But most horror games out there kind of suck. And are made with RPG Maker. Now if any creators of any games that are made in RPG Maker People think they're poorly yet poorly made. If you don't have access to 
um, actual good software, then do the best that you can. If you do have access to it, your mom and dad aren't restricting you, and you're making it poorly made, try to see if you can make money, then just use, if you have, if you have access to those good game makers, uh, that actually pretty much, that, that includes RPG Maker, which is actually pretty cool. I haven't tried it myself, but I'm gonna try. But still, if you have actual good, if you have actual good programs to use to make games, then use them! Instead of making poor quality crap that nobody wants! I'm getting a little carried away, aren't I? Yeah. So, if you're trying to make a video game and you have a poor, like, there's only one place to make art and that's MS Paint, go ahead. Try to make the best that you can. Don't let anybody say, oh, this thing's a piece of crap. Censored. I'm, I'm, I'm literally doing the middle thing right now. Censored. I censor with my hand. That's how I censor. However, if you want actual good games to play on either your phone or your computer, look no further than Steam or Game Jolt. Then things would actually be super freaking scary. I kid you not. But if you're running like a machine which has like Windows 10, so on top of Windows 7, no. And I'm actually recording this in the bathroom right now. I just need a drink of water. That's where I filmed my, um, most of my videos. Literally. It's the only place where nobody can interrupt me. Unless if I forgot to lock the door. Yeah, I'm coming clean about something right here. Unless if I forgot to lock the door. And your dad and mom and everybody in your family knows. <sighs> How to unlock the door just by using a flat Lego piece? Just unlock the door from the outside or lock pick. I don't know. Trust me. If you want a little, if you want a good spooky atmosphere where something spooky happens and you actually get scared, look no further. Go to Game Jolt, Steam, or wherever you get your games. Not on the App Store. Okay, yes, the App Store. And Google Play. But still, if you want to get good games, you want to get spooked, so spooked that you don't want to sleep in your freaking room, which is actually happening to me right now. I'm seeing so many spooky things on YouTube that I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even sleeping in my room. I admit that. <laughs> well, I'm going to sleep in my room today. It's two days before actual school starts, so... Make the best of it. Download games, play them, complete them, or whatever. I already completed Mario Odyssey. So, get games, get good at them games, and beat the game, and get cool, Bussington. That's four steps. Four steps. One, two, three, four. It's like a code for Pac-Man. The cheat code. But, um... I know it's it's different for you guys, I think. It's just the the video's like rotated or something. I don't know. It's 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 physics. Or whatever. I don't know. It's not it's not physics. I'm not that smart. And I think that the reason why I'm not that smart 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 is because every time I sleep I fall off the bed. And mostly that hit me that hits me at the back of my brain. And I always had a tough head. Ow. It actually didn't hurt. But when you're getting slapped in the butt. Ow. And I've gotten and I've done and I've gotten tough on the cool way more times than you guys would you would expect. Sorry for not looking at the camera. I just wanna keep on just take take a look at the screen and see how the video is going. It's like camera. Just to see if the video is going well. Well, we're still getting off topic. God dang, why do I always get off topic? Anyway, so if you want good games, first you get the game. Then you get good at 
with the game. Then you beat the game. Then you get cool with the game. One, two, three, four. Click the NES buttons. A, B, X, Y. Or X, Y. A, B, X, Y. So, first thing. Because mostly the, the first two buttons are jump. And these two buttons are run. Or vice versa. I don't know. But still. If you want to get good at them games... You, then you get good at them games. First you get the game, get good at that game, beat the game, get cool. Get cool. As in, get tons of money from YouTube revenue and ad revenue. Yeah, this is over 10 minutes. I'm going to get tons of ad revenue. And get all that monies. Did happy dance. <laughs> Heard those embarrassing of me. So, if you want to, if you want to be cool, do those four steps. Enough said. Oh wait, that, that entire thing was off topic. But still. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Like, comment, and subscribe, as every YouTuber says, and then they get tons of freaking subscribers. So I'm gonna try it myself. What in the world can go wrong? Yeah, a lot of things can go wrong. I'm trying to be funny here. I'm trying to be funny here. Anyway. Oh god, I'm getting thirsty. Only place to get privacy is the bathroom. <laughs> and then when you admit it to your YouTube channel, it's just like, where are you filming this? That nobody inter that almost nobody interrupts you. You say the bathroom. And you admit it to your fans. The bathroom. Me becoming broke? Here I come. I don't want to fall. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't want to say that. Just... If the, the, the least thing that you can do is just like the video. Please. Please. I, I, need, I, need, I need ad revenue at least so that way I can make some money and actually get a good game for my Switch. I don't want Splatoon 2. I don't, I, don't, I don't do single player campaigns. I do the multiplayer bus. I do the multiplayer bus. I don't do single player. I'm mostly a multiplayer guy. Speaking of multiplayer, I'm going to go check my friend Gavin on his Switch lately. Bye, guys. Oh, by the way, remember those four steps. I'm going to read them one last time for you guys. First, get a game that's either free or paid. First, get a game, get good at that, and get good at that game, beat the game, become cool. So that's basically A, B, X, Y. No, it's not. It's not A, B, X, Y. It's A, Y, X, B. A, Y, X, B. I don't know. Still, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. And I hope that you guys will enjoy some of my other future vids that I'm going to try to do on my PC, which has Revivorsoft installed on it, which is actually very bad and has tons of malware in it. Well, rest in peace that PC, even though it has taxes on it. Just kidding. It just has driver reviver. That thing's super annoying. My dad's not allowing me to use that PC, so I have to use my, old, my mom's old com computer, so... I'm going to sign into that computer as well. So I'm going to sign into that computer as well. And maybe I'll make some good vids on that PC. And use that other Windows 7 one that used to run Windows 7, now runs Windows 10 to make future good vids. 19 minutes. Oh god, why? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to. That is, if you want to. It's your opinion. It's your choice. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Bye, Bussingtons. Oh, 20 minutes.